What if the terrain could tell you where bucks move before you step in the woods? And hey, welcome back. Just out here on the farm today, taking a few chores in. With the integration of LiDAR to these maps, we're getting sometimes a one meter resolution, whereas with your old topo maps, you're just getting 10 to 30 meter resolution. And that's why on some of these mapping software, as you can see, the reds and the yellows kind of run together and there's no, there's no real pixel by pixel gradient of what the terrain really looks like. Hill country is steep, thick with Mount Laurel, rhododendron, patches of that sparkleberry stuff, and it's full of hidden terrain. Caltopo slope angle and shaded relief with LiDAR built in reveal ridges in high definition, hidden bluff gaps, and often some trails that bucks use to avoid hillside terrain and cliffed out drainages. Bucks use predictable paths due to these obstacles that they face, and LiDAR shows us what the old maps miss. Using maps before hitting the woods saves me a lot of time, Aerial maps show canopy, but not structure, and LiDAR strips this away. Now you can see benches and likely travel routes. These are mature buck safe travel zones that might have gone unnoticed using the old maps. We can now use shady relief and slope angle color gradient layers and overlays to spot crossings and terrain edges. Mature bucks bed with security, wind, thermals, and cover. South facing slopes equals preferred bedding in winter. Bucks drop low to feed at night and make their way up to bed in the mornings. And LiDAR shows bedding edges and places bucks can conceal themselves. We just have to verify these spots with actual scouting, but in the last five years, what I'm finding is tenfold what it used to be. Just last month, I scouted two deer trails, one leaving a thermal hub back down to the southwest and a second connected another secondary ridge down to the southeast. Both trails followed where the light greens met dark green areas of shaded relief or where the yellow and reds of a micro drainage with steep drops. And LiDAR showed it from home and I validated it. I found signpost rubs exactly where the pinch was expected at the top of the micro drainages on each secondary ridge. Buck beds were on both secondary ridges in predictable spots along the edges of the steepest terrain, right where it drops off the edge. And one of the best scrapes of the day was just above the darker greens in a flat area just down 35 yards from the spine of the ridge. All of the other rubs were found and placed on the map while I walked this area out on foot. At home, pull up your hunting area and check out Cal Topo's Shady Relief Layer. Normal shaded relief allows you to better visualize elevation changes and highlight terrain features such as cliffs, ridges, benches, and micro drainages. This layer is most often used in conjunction with other layers to add topographic shading. Check the box for slope angle shading in gradient view and the map really comes to life. Then toggle on 3D and you're looking at the mountain without the trees. And that's a huge advantage in my opinion. Look for pinch points, benches, and transitions, and mark trails and sign with arrows and circle markers like circle B for bed, circle C for crossings, circle R for rubs, and S for scrapes. Mark thickets with polygons and blowdowns with a line that suits your style. Let the map lead, then go verify it with boots on the ground. And I'm confident the bigger picture of what the deer and the mature bucks are doing in your hunting area will start to reveal itself. If you want to scout smarter and waste less time, LiDAR is your edge. Drop me a comment or a question in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope your upcoming hunting season is a successful one.